An essential part of the way we approach elementary children is through really nurturing and cultivating their freedom and responsibility. Now, prior to the age of six, children are exploring and developing their capacity for freedom in the environment and at home through uh, being able to practice exercising their wills, you know, uh, doing, you know, practice controlling their decision making under the age of three. Um, they don't have a lot of control over their decision making. They're really driven by impulses, which is important. Then after the age of three, they start to practice their will. They know they can control it, but it's going to be inconsistent. And so alongside that freedom where they get to make choices and exercise their wills, we, um, we see them developing self-discipline under the age of six, where they're learning how to control their will and be self-disciplined. And that emerges in an, in an environment of freedom and liberty where they can practice exercising. So that's happening under the age of six. And as they go into the elementary years, they can start to bring to their exercise of freedom responsibility. And that you know really means their ability to respond to the decisions that they've made. They can't really exercise responsibility under the age of six too much because it does rely on a fair amount of life experience and being able to understand the consequences of your actions. And that comes through experience. So in the elementary, we get to really focus on these ideas of freedom along with responsibility that will support children in developing those two capacities. So we need to think about this in terms of how we approach elementary children at home. Um, we will build an environment of freedom where children get to make their own choices about their activity and they get to practice their freedom. The important thing to remember is freedom is an internal capacity that we're helping children to develop. It's not something that we get to control externally. We, Montessori makes a really important distinction between freedom and liberty. Liberty is the external conditions that are in place and we have some control over those. There's expectations of how we behave and act and make choices in our home environment and in our broader society. And so those are the liberties that are controlled by our society and by our family culture. But freedom is a capacity that children develop, that they learn how to be and exercise freedom. They learn how to uh, handle making free choices. That's theirs and that builds within them and knowledge plays into that and, and the family community and the broader community play into freedom. It's not, it's not just freedom without limits or freedom without responsibility, but it is a freedom that we're cultivating in the children. And in the same way we cultivate their responsibility and when we're thinking about helping children really build their responsibility, we have to remember that responsibility comes from experience and to a certain extent, it comes from intimacy and connection. I feel responsible for those things that matter to me, that are important, that I value, that I know. And so we can't just impose responsibility on children and expect them to take it. You know, if they don't feel that sense of connection and intimacy to, to that task or that responsibility. As we're looking at that at home, I know we all want to make children feel responsible, but children will not grow in responsibility just because we tell them to. They will grow in responsibility from experience and from real life connection to things. So if we want children to develop responsibility for themselves, we need to give them opportunity and freedom to practice that. You know, we need to show them how to do their own laundry and leave them to do their own laundry. 
And they will develop responsibility, not because we tell them it's their responsibility to do their own laundry, but because they don't have clean underwear and they need to do their laundry. They need to experience the result of not taking on that responsibility. So this is something we have to think about at home because sometimes we want to just say, this is your responsibility and you have to do it. We have to build a buy-in and a connection for the children to want to take on that responsibility or to understand it. So freedom and responsibility, they're not sort of, they're not a system of punishment and reward. You get more freedom when you show responsibility. Uh, if you aren't handling your freedom um, or you're not taking on your responsibilities, I'm going to take away your freedom. We're not creating a system of punishment and reward. In fact, there's ample research out there that shows the limitations and, and ineffectiveness of rewards and punishments. Uh, and Montessori saw that in her work too. Uh, so freedom and responsibility, again, are these capacities we're gonna nurture in the children. We're gonna give them opportunity to exercise their freedom and the consequences associated with that. We're gonna give them opportunities to build and uh, responsibility and, and handle the consequences of, of that as well. And so this is the kind of culture you want to really cultivate at home with the children as you're trying to help them grow in those capacities so that they own them. Because if we impose on them, if we require of them, what happens when we're not there? Are they capable of doing it? They don't have a system for self-discipline otherwise. So we have to really help them develop that within the confines and expectations of our home environment and they're gonna make mistakes and learn from them and that's when they're really going to build these capacities. So it's a, it's a nuanced sort of approach that we have to be conscious of and think about and it's one that requires a lot of reflection and discussion as we navigate this with the children. But the result is uh, that we have helped to build a, you know, young adults who know themselves, know how to handle the responsibility of their freedoms, know how to exercise their freedoms within limits, and therefore are really built for collaborating effectively in, uh, in broader society.